Hey y'all, just figured I'd make a video of a couple fans I got in the house. Chrome Weaver window fan. Works really good. Looks like crap. Gotta clean it yet. <clears throat> Still got the slides too. Picked that monster up. Big old Kenmore. Cars and parts. For five bucks. Not really much rust. Guy was using it as a garage fan and was sitting on the trailer and I told my buddy, I said, man, my mom got a window fan like that. And the guy's like, you want it? I'm like, I ain't got the money to buy that. He's like, how much you got? I was like, five bucks. He's like, it's yours. Sweet. Drug it across the Clark County Fairgrounds, put it in the trunk, brought it home. Uh, 12 inch pin crest painted the grates on it cleaned it real good still gonna do a little cleaning in the cage a little chrome weaver 223 it's having a little issue it smells like oil really bad and it feels like the motor is getting hot I haven't ran this fan in probably six or seven years it's kind of froze up took it apart cleaned it all up and uh, got a noticeable oily odor to it and the motor gets pretty hot if you're touching on it so I don't know if anybody else does that but a little bit of rust in there I just got done scrubbing the grates and the blades and everything on it today just a little few scratches here and there motor says it's an 85 I thought it was newer <clears throat> and there's a little Bradford 10 inch I polished the blades on that and painted the grill I'm gonna paint the rest of it later Let's see. a couple other ones a little super electric Hoover was Horribly bad bearings. Yeah, it's up and down right now. But when it runs, it's quiet if you oil it. And this Montgomery Ward, my wife got me this one. A little tat tongue. Surprisingly, this thing actually has oil ports inside the motor. For being a Chinese built fan, it's built like a tank. <clears throat> yeah, these are just some window fans and whatnot in the house. Hopefully, I don't know. I think I'm just gonna. It's got a decent spin down time. I think I'm just gonna put the back grate back on it so the cat don't run into it again. Run it with the windows open and see if the oil smell goes away. If not, it's gonna pop. I'll have to find another motor. So, anyhow, thanks for watching.